of this video is pretty much about the benefits of having a spring powered air rifle if you're a prepper or in a crap at the fan situation. Now most people are pretty clued up and will go for the idea of having an air rifle if they can't get firearms. Now in the UK we, there's quite a lot of firearms we can have but you do have to get licenses where the thing is with an air gun in England up to 12 foot pounds you don't need a license of any type. In Scotland they do but not in England. And an air rifle which shoots about you know just under 12 foot pound is fully capable of taking nearly all small game in England probably the whole of the UK. Um, and probably nearly all types of birds you'll be able to get with a sub 12 foot pound air rifle. Anything bigger you're probably going to need firearms, shotguns, if you haven't got access to those and it was a crap at the fan situation you may be able to go for or use crossbows, bows and maybe traps. But if you want to get something which is unlicensed, self-contained, you want to get yourself a spring powered air rifle. And not necessarily, it doesn't have to be brake barrel, this is brake barrel one, it doesn't have to be brake barrel. Um, you get under lever, side lever, but most brake barrels are relatively simple, simple to use, quiet. You know, I've got a couple of um, side lever ones, but when you do the side lever, they kind of make a ratcheting sound. And also pump up pneumatic is alright. The reason I'm saying that is because... You can buy the most expensive pre tires pneumatic if you like, but when it comes to it, you're going to need um, air tanks or pumps and things like that to you know keep charging it up again. Whereas this is entirely self-contained. You know, it is what it is. If you buy spare springs, you can, and spare seals and stuff, you'll be able to change that. You know, if it comes to it. But with a pre tires pneumatic or CO2 or any of those types, you're going to have to need a supply of CO2 cartridges or um, gas bottles or pumps. So this one, disregard the shoddy paint job, but this is a, a BSA Lightning XL Tactical. It's a couple of different variants, you can get it with a wooden stock. But this is kind of like the um, the ABS plastic stock, whatever. It's got a full, like a full barrel suppressor. So as you can see, the entire barrel is covered with a suppressor. It's relatively quiet. Uh, this one already comes with sling mounts, so you might want to put them on if you uh, if you've got a gun that hasn't got them. Um, came with a scope. There's only one thing I don't really like about this gun and it is the fact is it's only got one option for a sight. Now if you can get a gun which has got open sights and you can put a scope on it there you've got you know two options so if your scope breaks you can just take it off and use your open sights. Um, I'll just show you an example here so this Edgar Brothers I think it's an Edgar Rovers, yeah Edgar Rovers Model 55 has got open sides but it's also got a scope on as well. I've also, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, I've also tried to rig it up with peep through mounts. You may not be able to see it but you can just about use the open sights through there without taking it off. But if something did happen you just take the scope off and then you've still got your open sights to use. So I would say that to anyone, if you're going to get a gun, try and get one with open sights on it as well. And have a good practice with the open sights before you put the scope on and then practice with the scope. So you know you can take that off if it comes to it and use it. There is a couple of air rifles, well actually air rifles nowadays are getting ultra modern and a lot of them they've got now silent well suppressors with the sights on them so you can have the best of you know three different things you can have a suppressor you can have open sights and you can have a scope whereas this one there's no fittings anywhere it's not even drilled 
at the back end of the barrel for open sights. You can only put a scope on it. So what you probably want to do with that is have your scope, but also have something else you can replace it with, you know, a small red dot sight or something. So like I said, completely self-contained spring air rifle rather than, you know, pre-charged pneumatic was going to need gas bottles and, you know, air canisters and stuff. This one does have a an um, safety on it. A lot of air rifles don't have any safety on it at all. You, I don't think you can decock this one. So when you put a pellet in, you're going to have to fire it. Now some, you can hold the barrel down, pull the trigger carefully, and let the barrel back up. But this one you can't. Um, it normally comes black, but I did a bit of a bad paint job on it years ago. I've had this for quite some time. Still a very decent gun though. Got adjustable trigger. But like I said, the main thing is, it's completely self-contained. You know, cock the barrel, and if you've got spare springs, even better. Now the other good thing about an air rifle is, is the ammunition for it is tiny. But, anyone knows who's ever hunted from an air rifle, fully capable of taking most small game. But the ammo is tiny, so for example that tiny little thing will just slot in your pocket has 250 pellets. Can you imagine trying to carry 250 bullets or 250 shotgun cartridges? You know, it's a completely different thing, but there, 250 pellets, you, know, you can have a little bag on there, stick that in there or something. To be honest, this one has got the stock is actually hollow, and I've got I was show you this in another video i've showed this before years ago i'll show you again underneath this tape is part of a screwdriver and i've done it so you can undo this flip this round and then you could put a tin of pellets probably be better in a bag so it doesn't rattle but you could put it in there and then you've got ammo with your gun as well but like i said underneath here is part of a screwdriver to undo that so even that's with it the whole time Plenty of really, really decent air rifles out there nowadays, and for relatively cheap. That one was about 200, 260 quid, I think. I've had it for quite some time, but yeah. So there's probably plenty more benefits to having an air rifle in a crap at the fan situation, but you know, if you can think of any, let me know in the comments. But like I said, especially spring, it's self contained. You don't need anything else. As long as you've got your pellets, you know, you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about stuff running out. You know, highly unlikely on a good air rifle that your spring is just going to go, you know, not for years. And even if it does start going, if you've got a spare spring and the tools and the know-how how to change it, which are not that hard, you could easily, you know, swap the spring over, swap any seals over, and you're good to go again for years. Whereas if you're out there in the woods and your your pre-charged pneumatic or your CO2 runs out and you haven't got you can't you know there's nothing you can really do about that except for go and try and find some more CO2 or something. Which where would you find that? You'd have to go into towns and cities and you know. So I'll do um, a couple more vids on this kind of subject about air rifles and that. This one oh yeah this one is 177 and very very accurate gun. And like I said, fully capable of taking nearly all small game in England. You know, up to, in mammals, up to rabbits easily. And, um, you know, birds, I would say up to, you know, def you know definitely up to pheasant sized birds. Maybe bigger birds if you're taking, you know, headshots and all that. Right, so... If you can think of anything else, you know, why it'd be good to have a, a spring air rifle in a crap at the fan situation, then let me know in the comments. Alright, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.